right, so I've basically done nothing. Josh has done everything. But we're doing inventory of all of the assist garage gear. You know, I figure it's about time that I run this like a business instead of willy-nilly. Well, willy-nilly for me, anyway. Hey, don't touch that. All right, so we're on what? You did mediums, 39 mediums? Yep, I didn't count this pile yet, so if you want to count that. All right, so what is it? Five, six. So we've got you know, the basic shirts. We've got the dialed in shirts, which we did all, you know, all the count of all of these. You guys need to buy some of these so that I don't go broke. I got hundreds, hundreds, you know, hundreds of shirts, if not, you know, well over a thousand shirts. And then we got the tri blends, which most people like the tri blends the most. I, I like the 50 50s better, but these are so comfortable in comparison to. I guess they're both comfortable, but the, the tri blends are even better. So those are the ones with the black logo on the back. And then we've got the whites, the white basic shirts. We counter all those up. And then the Circle G. This shirt's grown on me a lot. I really like it. And so Josh is working on the, the blacks. And then I'm storing all this stuff. I'm going to get, we're going to probably have a, a, an Obsessed Garage folding party to fold and, ba and, uh, and bag all these things and get them ready for shipping. But I wanted to get an accurate count of everything. And then this is where I'm storing. I'm gonna sell the ATVs because we don't use them. This property is cool, but it's no fun to just ride around in a circle. So I'm probably gonna put Swiss tracks in here and clean this up. And, you know, just kind of clean this room so that I have a place to store everything. So we're gonna go through the hats and then we have uh, uh, this, you know, the hoodies and stuff like that to go through. But this is where everything is on the side of the house. I want to get inventory, real numbers set up so that, you know, as, because what's going to happen is they're going to start selling, you know, um, uh, detailing supplies and other stuff. So if I don't have a system, one, I won't be able to sleep, and two, um, you know, I need to know what, you know, what's here and what's not. We should probably go old school and do a piece of paper, or if you want to do an Excel spreadsheet, because um, then I can add to it when I get home and count those that I have. Well, why don't we just add it in here and then you can go add it to it. Okay, that works. So how many we got? 47? 47, yep. 18 shirts missing. Missing in action. Yeah, there's at least, at least 10 in my house, minimum. See, I got one, Michelle's got one. And I have... Same. Tim, we sent um, what four people that were here to take pictures, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Larry. So there's four: Larry, um, Adam, and Nicole. Yeah. So that's three. That's seven. I have one, two. That's the largest. All right, well, there's nothing we can do about it from here on out. So whatever we got, we got. So what I'll do is we'll just take it out of what I'm paying you. <laughs> All right, so we got XLs now. These shirts are so nice. They are. Okay, so. But I, I, I know everybody else likes the tri blends better. I like the, I like the regular ones better. So I think it would be super cool, you know, if I put shelving and stuff in the room over there, if we, you know, folded all these and packaged them all, and then, you know, that would make, make me feel like I'm you know, running a real business. Yeah. I think it would look sweet. I like it. So how is, so when I do give something away, which is very rare, um, I wonder how we're gonna track that. Were those all together? Yep. Oh, Put shit. them all together. It's a whole lot easier than I thought. Yeah. Dude, come on. I know I'm not as obsessed as you, but. Like, no, but I mean, this is how they, they came. Yeah, well, mostly. Okay, and you sorted them out when you were there at the house. Yep. Okay, so these are the largest. Do your thing, I'll yep. just play over here. You can uh, brainstorm. This 
So, you know, it's going to look like this. Well, we're going to have a bucket package. So the bucket package will be you know, Uline buckets and then um, Uline, we'll get from Uline as well, just get the, um, the Gamma Seal stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so I need to make a relationship with the grid guard, which I, I'm hoping that that ought to be pretty easy to do. You know, the trick is I want to start lean. Yeah. Because I'm not going to run sales. There aren't going to be any sales that I'm running. It's going to be based on, you know, this is like a consulting thing. Like, I'm going to create the package. Like, this is exactly what we need. You yeah. know, this is exactly what you need from the soup to nuts, end to end. And so, like, for instance, the bucket package, I want to do uh, you know, a silicone bead around the edge of the gamma seal so they're going to ship together. Okay. I think. Um, so the trick, the most, the most difficult part of all of this stuff is going to be boxing. You know, so what I'm going to have to do, I think that I think the step is going to be buying the stuff. So I'm going to buy like one of everything. I mean, let's see, well, I'll see what I can do. Uh, or I guess I don't even most of it. I don't need to buy because I have it all. Yeah. And so I'm going to lay out the packages, and then we're going to I'm going to buy some boxes from Uline, and then we're going to sort of figure out which box makes sense. Yeah, depending on the weight and everything, um, you know, we can get boxes free depending on the, well, it's probably bigger than the priority ones. Well, I think I'm going to need to set up a FedEx account or a UPS account or something like that as well. Yeah. All right, so largest we have 20, uh, 21. All right, so this says we have 111. Not correct. I don't even think we ordered. Because um, we ordered what two forty four of each thing. Yeah. So we must have more. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. There's probably a whole other box. Yeah, I got way ahead of myself. <laughs> These are all large. Like, well, there goes any profit margin for the next ten years. Of, uh, cause these are the most expensive shirts. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna have bucket package, a hose package. I talked to Ely, um, and you know, the interesting thing, and this is what I'm learning how to do, is that most of these companies, like they just don't, they don't understand the you know the power of the social market. They tried it, sure. And and the trick is what happens. What happens with a lot of these companies is that they start selling online, and then all the online engines sort of catch up to them, and then all their the prices get start get driven down yep. by all these algorithms. And so, like you know, Ace Hardware gets a you know online, which is just some you know contrived system, gets you know access to you know to sell the stuff because they're selling through a third-party distributor, and then it ends up they're selling at below cost for some unknown reason. Yeah. Because they're trying to beat the price of the next click. Well, and they're trying to, I mean, for so social I, marketing, they're and trying. And I told them my story, and then now I think they're on board. So, and then we're going to figure out, so something like an Ely hose reel, and this is where, this is the trick, this is what's where the, you know, where the building, and I'm going to have to screw up a few times before it's perfect, but um, some stuff is going to drop ship, and some stuff is going to come separately. I, I think that ultimately drop shipping, although it was more efficient, I think for just the packaging of things, I think eventually we're gonna to want to stop all of this. Correct. And our I mean our margins higher gives me something to do. And honestly once if we end up going the route of obsessed detailing, you know that you have a perfect opportunity to have a warehouse. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. No? I'm not sure. Uh, it's not gonna be anytime soon. Sure. I'm gonna tell you that right now because um, just don't, I, I can't, I, I need to focus on just a few things. Yeah. So we'll have a hose package, car washing package, wheel cleaning package, decontamination package, polishing package. Polishing package is like 1700 bucks. Like a Rupes and a bunch of other Yeah, a Rupes LHR 15 Mark II and then an LHR 75, which is the three inch. So that alone is what uh, six hundred bucks. So that'll be I mean, a lot of the, the guys that are getting into it. So the question is a la carte. Yeah. Um, a la carte is where now we get into having more boxes, more supplies, more stuff. 
but it's also more sales opportunities. Because a lot of right. these guys already have some of that stuff. Right. So, and then they're going to do it a second time. But here's the question, do I care about the guys that already have a lot of the stuff? Or do I just, am I just looking for the guy who wants an end-to-end -end solution? Maybe on certain items, higher profit margin items would carry it, that makes it worth our while. You know, things that give us a good... Because here's the other question, um, the thing that I'm thinking about is that um, doing... I'm gonna. I, I, I think I'm still gonna just provide. It. Here's the list of everything that I that, that I use. If you make the choice to go out and, and just steal my ideas and buy it, then that's my natural vetting process. And those are probably people that are gonna beat us up and return stuff and all that junk anyway. You know, we have been we've been extremely fortunate on that uh, regards returns. I think. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. Oh, no returns. How's yeah, that sound? We haven't. I mean, besides the. Besides that one guy who had a coffee stain on his shirt, I don't know what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Whatever, just send him another. Yep. You know. yep. I, already, I already took care of it. So, um... Yeah, no, I like that. But, yeah, that's the other thing in inventory is that, like, when we did the giveaway for the blue shirt... Yeah, I think there was... I had it written down. Okay. And it's, I think so that's like where we need, to, we need to really become experts in... Well, you need to become an expert yeah. in Shopify. Yep. Then we got sports car finishing package option one, which would be ammo. Option two would be colonite. And then you have a daily driver finishing package, which is car pro. So most of the, I mean, some of the items will stay the same and some of the finishing items will change. The other thing I could do is add another, and I, I, so I'm gonna do the Raptor and car pro. I was gonna do it in Geon, but I just, I wanna keep it simple. And maybe I'll add a Geon package later. Rubber, rubber and glass interior, uh, rubber and glass finishing. Do you want to reach out to Wolves? Yeah, I'm going to. That'd be nice to be. Able to I know you. Jesse. I mean, I've know. talked to him a bunch in the past. So. I mean, are there any U.S. distributors? In that? No. The problem with Wolves, the reason why there are any U.S. distributors, is because uh -huh. of the. It's so hard to get here. Costs so much. So. You know, I don't. I only want Wolf's trim coat and Wolf, Wolf's glass guard. Those are the only two things I want. I don't want all the other stuff. The other stuff isn't any good. I tried it all. Engine and exhaust package and then a uh, miscellaneous a la carte, like an Adams funnel and. I don't know, man. It's tricky, so I'm gonna I'm gonna price out all these packages, and maybe we'll start with one package at a time. I, I'm not sure. Anyway, In fact, I just thought of that right now. Doing one package at a time it makes sense. Honestly, we and we can always do it pre-order on a few of them if you want to up front. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the first. I'm gonna get the pressure washer package all done. And so here's the other thing is that each, as I build the website, when you buy, let's say, let's say that the polishing packages, I don't, I don't know what it's going to call you know, whatever it costs. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I think what I'm going to do is just sell everything at retail. So whatever retail pricing is, this is the price. You know, so I don't want to mark anything up. I'm just going to sell it for what it sells for everywhere. I'm just not going to do any Black Friday sales or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, because Unless the margins can... are pretty thin. I mean, when it's all said and done, it's probably, you know, 25% margin after you box it and ship it and all well, that stuff. Here's the question is, mm -hmm. what is the consulting? You know, what is the, what is it worth um, to, for all the time and effort that went into building that package specifically? You know, many, many companies have built Packages of things, but they never—they're not going to put the work into it that I'm going to, which mm -hmm. is um, the creating the structure around. Here's how I use all this stuff. And by the way, once you buy it, you get access to a video series, exclusive video series of all the specifics. Here's each product individually reviewed, shown how, to, and then here's you know how to use it as a system. Hundred and five. All right. That sounds more like it. Yep. Now we're back in the profit. And there's, I know I've got, a, I've got some great ones in my house for sure. One hundred and five. Save. Okay. Does um, because I looked, I asked him how much it would be for this because if it was fifty cents, 
I would have just had them folded and packed it, but then they bumped it up to a dollar. I'm like, eh. My vote is you do it. Yeah. 25, 68, 87, all right. All right, so there's our larges. I mean, yeah, let, let's just let's just relabel these. I think what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna go to Target and buy bins for all this stuff. They're all clear plastic. Little grab Sharpie from the day. Telling you guys, these shirts are freaking awesome. Just absolutely amazing. You know, I'm not trying to pitch you on this stuff. I mean, these they're just good. I mean, there's no, there's no, uh, no question about it. It'll probably be more efficient if I go and you know order some from Uline or U.S. Plastics or something like that. Because mm -hmm. they're going to be like. 15 bucks a piece at Target. I just, just to be safe, you know, I think it's probably smarter. The last thing I want is some kind of like gypsy moth or something get in here and tearing apart my 20 grand worth of shirts. But I would really like to have a, here's what's here, you know, here's what's at home base. Yep. And then here's what at, you know, here's what it's, what's at your house. And then we have a system. I don't want it to be a piece of paper where yeah. It's signed out. So this one, clearly the inventory is going to be off because we gave a bunch of them away, right? Yeah. How many we actually give away? It's between 10 and, uh, 10 and 12. Oh, okay. Something like that. Small, medium, large. 20, Might be a little more than that just because there were some people that bought the CR system during the promo. Yeah, that backfired on us. Is the pro CR promo over yet? No. I asked, well, um, I they, asked. They need to adjust their profit margin then. You know what I think? Because we sold so many, I'm gonna, I can do it or you can do it. Reach out to John and ask him if they bump us up to a tier four. We sold like 12 units last month. That's probably a fairly decent number for their uh, distributors. So these shirts are way cooler than I originally, when I originally got them, I wasn't super psyched about them, but <clears throat> I've been wearing it a lot lately. I think it's, you know, surprisingly the G doesn't like get all sweaty, you know, because I think the American Apparel shirts are so, it's just for whatever whatever reason, they're thicker and just, I don't know, I wear them in CrossFit all the time, sweat crazy. I thought the G would, or the, you know, the big screen printed area would be super annoying, but it doesn't bleed through like, I thought it would. And then that navy is legit, man. Yeah. Like this color. I forget what they what call it. it. Was that no, it's called yeah, something weird like that. These are these are super nice too, man. Mm -hmm. These are I call these the in shape obsessed garage shirt. <laughs> that way I don't see me wear them very often because they aren't very forgiving. No, not at all. There's no extra there's no extra room in these. They're super comfy. So how's the uh, exhaust research coming? Um what a freaking mess. I call the American Racing. Okay. Because that's the one I decided I wanted. Yeah. I just called him and said, look, and I'd like to, you know, form some sort of relationship and, um, I mean, whatever you want to call it, but where we, you know, exchange some value. I mean, you, yeah. I'm going to do my thing. And so I was talking to a young guy who kind of gets it, I think. I think he gets the whole social media aspect of things. And, um, and then they said, well, you know, the, let, let's see what we can do. And they came back and said, well, we'll give you like, it was like $1,200, $1,300 off, something like that. <clears throat> Wait, it was about $1,500 off. Hmm. And I was like, you know, whatever, that's fine. But let me just, you know, what would you guys pay someone to do this, 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 and this? Yeah. Exactly. It's just not equal. It's not an equal exchange. No. And so then he went back to the old dudes in the back office and then maybe asked me, well, you know, what was I going to do? You know, ask for ask me for a listing of what I plan to do, which is what I, my yeah. normal procedure of install yeah. videos and everything, write ups and photos. Several hours of high quality content. 
<laughs> right, which takes 50 to do. Yeah. And then they came back and said, uh, you know what, we're not even going to give you the deal. <laughs> what? Yeah. So, anyway, I think I talked too much. That was a little, little odd. How much is the setup? It's like 3500 bucks. Wow. I don't really want to, I don't really, yeah, I don't really want to do headers yet. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to buy a MagnaFlow and we'll see what that sounds like and go from there. I called MagnaFlow and they sent me a 13 page sign your life away sponsorship with requirement to have, you know, at least, what were they, 10 inch stickers? two 10 inch stickers at all time or greater sized stickers on your car at all times because that sells exhausts. What sells exhausts in anything is personal opinion, you know, personal, personal stamp of approval, not contrived garbage. So in other words, I'm just going to buy my own stuff so I'm not beholden to anybody. And then when they come crawling, I'm gonna tell them to get lost. It's just such backward thinking. You know, it's just like, like they, what they, their main concern was what car shows am I gonna to go to? I said, why do you even care? I mean, how many people am I gonna have exposure to at a car show? How many people that you're gonna have exposure to are gonna have GT350s at car shows? You know, you can get so many more online. So what are we doing with the extra count? We're just leaving it in here? Yeah, just leave it. I'm pretty sure this is my favorite one. I mean, this is this is modeled after the Road Fitness, you know, high speed low drag shirt from the old days of CrossFit when I was high speed low drag. Um, now I'm low speed high drag. These are the things if we take the cars and coffee. Gosh, I'm telling you, they're so nice. Dang it. Like the pockets, it's just it's just a whole nother level of niceness. You know, like the inner the liner of these California fleece. So much different than like even those anvils, the three X ones. So I mean I mean check these things out. I mean the zipper is incredible. And then the, the biggest thing, the thing I like about these the most is the, the lining. It's just so much more comfortable. Also, you know, I've worn these like working out and stuff and they just it's just like the 50 50 stuff where they you just don't sweat the same they just absorb it's just awesome messing with all the kid stuff let's see where's the rest of the baby stuff babies 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 Right. I guess this is all we got in babies. So 12 to 18 months, one, two, three, four, five. That's so cool. Look at that thing. You can see. A little difference in philosophy here in that we're a little leaner on these. <laughs> yeah, we're a little strong. This would be cool if we had these all done like this. We fold them all up and then... Mm -hmm. so let's see, on 2,000 shirts at what, 50 cents a piece? It would cost us $1,000. Right. To have them packaged up. But, I mean, we can get bags like this or we can use the, the ones that I have. Um, the one, I mean, these are, these are quite expensive. Yeah. So, yeah, it's worth us holding ourselves for a thousand bucks, right? You do a lot for a thousand bucks, wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you rather make a thousand bucks than not? Yeah. Now these, I'm super, super pumped. Who am I kidding? I'm pumped about all this crap. I think that's freaking awesome. All right, so these are, Black. I just want to look at them. And they come in nice bags, just like that. 
Cool. So when I did it, I just I kept one of each, one small, medium, one large, extra large at the house. Oh, so. So we have 48 of each here. I'm gonna feel so much better about this. Well, what, these are different sizes, right? 24 of each size? There, well, there's two boxes of each. So 24, 24 is 48. So there's 96 half there total. Right, but and small, then, medium. Yeah, so 48 small, mediums, 48 large, extra large. Oh, that's what's in these boxes? Mm hmm Oh yeah, 24, 24, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, now that I've got inventory, motivated to go sell this stuff. Well, motivated to make you go sell this stuff. Yay! But I realize that I'm gonna be there. Yeah. I just wanna show up. So that way, rather than me focusing on you know, getting ready, yep. I could be making videos that night, you know? I just need to get, hopefully, someone there to help me get that tent up, because that would not be easy by myself. It's and doable. You'll figure it out. I know. I'll figure out, having, I'll figure out someone that will be there to help me do it. It's what I'm going to figure out. What are you doing, crazy? Taking a nap all day, I was Charlie. looking to see if I could hear you. You can hear us. I'm not in here. 1393. No, you can't. It's not, I can't hear you. What do you mean you can't hear me? When you talk, I can't hear you in those headphones. How about now? Let me see that. Oh, maybe this. Hello? Hello? Oh, crap. Shelly, we physically counted 1,400 items. So when I pack them, I have a little folding board. Yeah. And then I stick it in a uh, zip So it'll be already pack. done that way when someone orders it. Is that on? Yeah. Oh. So. I'm not in it, though, right? No, no, no. Let me put you in it. I gotta Shelly, get it. I don't want to be in it. Come on, well, from the back. It's from the back. Crazy. No! What the heck? Crap, you guys are in a bad spot. There's no... That's not the way I roll. Hey, did you get me a present? No, that came in the mail. Oh, I thought you bought me like, a Christmas present. Because that's what I said. <gasps> to Michelle Mormon! Yeah. Oh, it's from somebody else. Yes! Oh, it's great! Someone else is buying you Christmas presents. It's from your parents. No. Oh. You gotta, you gotta turn your back to the camera. We gotta have that. this discussion on camera. Hold okay. I can discuss <laughs> very clearly like this. All right, so imagine this. So we go to Cars and Coffee. Let's just think about this logistically. We got a table, we got some chairs, we got a tent. The displays? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so we got the displays. We can hang our hats, we can hang shirts, I got the we can hang hoodies. Yep. I okay. got the, even the little baskets on there as well that we could put the plate frames. We end up doing towels or product, whatever. We can do that too. Towels, simple and cheap. Okay, so let's just say for now before we have products. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I should buy a Kranzel. I guess we could just use mine to take with us. Why don't we try and get one from Dirt Killer? Sometimes they have like the slightly dinged up units. Well, that's what I have a slightly dinged up. Well, I know. Unit. I mean, saying we don't. Have to, well, yeah, you're not using yours anyway, but. Right. <clears throat> and so, just imagine you know, the long term, the long view, just from a retail perspective, of having we have all the gears, we have a brand, and then we'll have all of the polishers, we'll have packages. Yeah. We can bring it. We can bring one or two with us, and then everything else. If you buy it at the event, we could do free shipping, maybe something like that. Or well, I think people want to take it with them. That's true. But well, yeah, we've got the card reader, so we can swipe right there. Well, we got to get new card readers because I shut that account off. Down. We can still use the card reader. We can still use the card reader. Is is not tied to account. Mm. If I plug it in, hook it up to the PayPal, whatever one. Oh, then you log system. in. Okay. Yep. All right, yep. good. So that works. I just, I'm going to need the new phone. So where am I in this discussion? <laughs> what? Just, you're just thinking? You're making us, is this makes, makes sense. Oh, okay. So I can Well, that's what we have to figure out. What's a, you know, what, what kind of a system? Because I don't want product disappearing. Mm -hmm.
destroys any profit you're going to make. Is that like if you have a helper or something like that, like the product has to be spoken and accounted for. I mean, if and then I have to make sure to have enough, you know, that 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 we're washing the stuff because you know, mm -hmm. people take it. Yeah. I mean, if I, I obviously have more of a vested interest than anyone else for me asking to come and help us out, but I'll be there the whole time. And then, you know, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to walk around the event anyway. That means you're gonna you could take me because you know I'm not going to walk around. <laughs> I don't care about anyone's cars. <laughs> and the cool thing is we do have a couple, you know, guys locally that would be willing to help out every now and then without really expectation of anything in return. So I think you should totally, you know you're all in all the time, try it before you commit to doing one every month right. or one every week. Like, and if it, things don't sell, then you'll just say, okay, that's not a good use of our time. Well, then I don't think they're gonna sell right away. I think you're gonna have to keep showing up. I think that's the key. Um, and I, I definitely think doing the, the cars and coffee on a regular basis, and then we pick one or two larger, maybe even just one, one larger show, thousand plus cars a year. And, to do that, one, you know, because that could be a good opportunity as well. Even if that's driving out in Miami, you know, could there be maybe or Atlanta? Could you have any products that are only available out of Cars and Coffee? I mean, we could always design like his shirt. hat that I really thought was cool. And he's like, oh, we don't have these. <laughs> I mean, for now, I think we that, clearly have enough product, enough options of different things that people would buy. If we want to do something, we could do like the one off the, the cars and coffee. Uh, we could get a design for that, you know, do eventually like a limited run on that, like we just did. Mm -hmm. Well, you do that after you've been there mm -hmm. 18 times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're not selling anything anymore. I just don't think that. Um, I think showing up, I think the thing is big enough now that showing up, it won't look weird. Correct. So what happens when the, when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. The floor. The floor.